the quarterback that is in the transfer portal, and, and again, I want to point out, I don't think this is that big a story for a starter at Alabama, but you never know with depth if somebody transfers out, say a Jalen Milrow. Tyler Buckner is in the transfer portal. The only reason I bring it up is his connection to Tommy yep. Reese. Now, for those, and by the way, Tommy Reese didn't really like him starting. It should be pointed out. But for those that don't know, Buckner is a quarterback at Notre Dame. Very limited action at Notre Dame. No numbers are going to blow you away. But the fact that he is in the transfer portal with Sam Hartman there, Lance, I think there are some people that will look at that connection. Right now, there's really no room for him at Alabama. That quarterback room is pretty full. So yeah, if people I, I, want to paint that connection, it just doesn't make sense right now unless somebody transfers. I just don't see this being a, a an option at all. Yeah. Now he was injured, right? That's why he missed most of the time last year. Uh, but when he played, he wasn't he was. tremendous. Yeah, he was. Um, played a little bit early, got injured, then came back and played in the bowl game. But the numbers, I mean, fifty five percent completion rate, three touchdowns, five picks. Nope. Yeah, I just don't think this is your guy. If Drew Pine was a guy that would have been in the transfer portal, then, you know, maybe that's a guy that gets looked yeah. at. But Sam Hartman is going to be the starting quarterback at Notre Dame, and that's why Buckner, who was yeah. went into last year as the starter before he got a little bit banged up, that's why he's in the transfer portal. Again, if Alabama were skinny on numbers, I could see this. But with as long as you've got Simpson, Milrow, uh, Holstein, and Lonergan in the quarterback room, you what more do you need? Well, Why would you even take on another guy? You know, this is the first time they've carried four quarterbacks on scholarship since 2019. Yeah. So this is more of the anomaly than the norm. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think you're going to see anything. There are people that are going to draw that connection because of Tommy Reese. I just don't see that happening. But Tyler Buckner is in the transfer portal. You know, you wish the best for him. Sam Hartman is going to be that starting quarterback there unless he decides to transfer, which I don't think he would. Um, but he's going to be the starting quarterback there and stands, I think, to have a really good year there. Oh, I agree. Sam Hartman's a fantastic quarterback. He's going to be running a different offense, though. You know, he's wearing yeah, he was that, that mesh slow mesh that he ran at Wake under Dave Clawson. So this will be different. But, you know, he's going to have more talent around him. And I think he's a really, really good quarterback. Yeah. And when you look at Notre Dame's schedule, it's, you know, early on Tennessee State at NC State Central Michigan. I know you say NC State, you know, that's not a layup for them. And it's not. But, I think there's a likelihood they're 3-0 and going into that Ohio State game that they will play at home this year. Oh, they'd be 4-0. Oh, that's right. They open against Navy. I keep forgetting that game because that's the uh, Week 0 game. Uh, so, I, I mean, I think they could be 4-0 before Ohio State comes to their Man, place. They got, they got a really tough schedule, though, because I think NC State, again, that that is a coin flip to me. Um, you've got Ohio State at home. USC you've got at SC home. at home, and then you got to go to Clemson. Yeah, I mean that's four really difficult. That's three games. legit national championship contenders yeah. right there that you're you you got to play. But only one of those is on the road, so that's the good news for them. They get Ohio State and Notre Dame at home. So anyway, Tyler Buckner in the portal. Some will draw a connection to Tommy Reese. Don't see that one happening unless Alabama starts losing quarterbacks, and you might need them.